Well, we've had another crazy day. Um, maybe not quite as bad as yesterday, but pretty bad. Uh, it's two in a row. So, uh, tomorrow's Thursday, Friday. So, we have two good days that are offset to two bad days. We'll call it a good week. If you look over my shoulder out the window there, you'll see the mountainside uh, from the opening of the video. Uh, you can uh, hear the water running in the background coming down the mountain. Peaceful. Didn't pick this spot because it's peaceful. I picked it because I was out of hours. I think I had like maybe 25, 30 minutes. And, well, there's plenty of grass for the duck man to get out there and do his business. And uh, so, But uh, this morning, man, good God, googly moo. Hit uh, rush hour traffic in uh, Charlotte, and then back it up before that. I left the uh, truck stop there in Hardyville at uh, around 3:30. By about 4:15, 4:45, I'm getting DOT'd up near Walterboro, South Carolina. Pulled on the scale, they saw the hazmat placards. Might as well have been a big giant bullseye. Hey, driver, pull over there next to that FedEx truck. I'll be right there. <laughs> so he comes out there. I'm going to do a quick walk around uh, DOT Level 2 inspection. Uh, it's starting to rain, so we're going to make this pretty quick. Lights, horn, flashers, fire extinguisher, triangles, had everything good to go. Horn works. Press and hold your brake, driver. push that brake down all I heard was <laughs> constant air coming out from somewhere my mind went straight to brake chamber or something like that and blowed out on me so he looks around tries to find the leak he finally uh, isolates it is the uh, the blue airline that hooks to the trailer that comes off the truck that hooks to the trailer a lot of times those, if they're not lined up perfectly, will leak air. So I thought maybe that's what it was. So I went back there and to look at it while he pushed the brake. The, I had the glad handles. They're as big around as my fist like that. Uh, they're hollow inside. And what they do is they fit around the end of the hose and around the coupler. It couples to the trailer makes it easy hooking and unhooking truck drivers you know what I'm talking about so uh, the air is coming from inside there so I'm thinking busted hose split hose something so I take the, the four screws that holds the, the handle together I took the four screws out got the, uh, the got it off the hose just fell off the coupler it wasn't even fastened onto the coupler. How does a hose come undone? And you tighten that thing down with, with wrenches, man. That thing's on there tight. How does it just come undone? 22 years of truck driving. Never, ever had a coupler just unscrew off the end of a hose. Never. <laughs> That is a first for me in 22 years of driving. Cause those things on there so tight, man. You try to take, you ever try to take one off with a wrench? Man, it's a grunt job trying to get that thing off. So uh, he said, "I got to put you out of service." Hmm. CSA points. Ching 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 ching. I said, I'll have it fixed. It's going to take about five minutes. Sure enough, boom, put a wrench around it, tighten it up, put the handle back on it. He comes out. Uh, he said, you get it? I said, yes, sir, it's fixed now. I said, if you want to stand right there and I'll push the brake, you can check it. He checked it. Okay, yeah, you're good to go, man. He said, you can take off. You know, I just need you to sign this and this. He said, you're still going to be shown as being put out of service. I can't do anything about that. He said, I could give you a $200 ticket, but I'm going I'm to let that slide because uh, I understand that that's not something you would normally catch during a pre-trip inspection. 
reason I say that is because air is only fed through that line when you push the brake pedal in your truck. How can you be back there holding and checking the line and pushing the brake pedal up here at the same time? I mean, I guess you could wedge something in there. How many people do that? I mean, I've never done that. I mean, I check for air leaks. If I don't hear no air leaking, I don't, the service brake. I guess I need to teach Ducky how to sit on it or something and push it down. Anyway, he let me slide without a ticket, just a warning, but I still got CSA points. I know I did. I don't know how many I have to check to see. So, uh, anyway, I get up there to Virginia, man. It's snow everywhere. I get to the, the receiver there. It takes about an hour and a half to get me unloaded, finally. Get out of there, and I book it up here to uh, West Virginia to pick up my load. Three tolls coming up, three going back. I've gone through three coming up, and I've gone through one coming back down. i got two more to come back down. By the time I pay all the tolls to get in and out of West Virginia, it'll be, I think, $81. That's ridiculous. West Virginia ain't that good. But, uh, anyway, I would have kept booking it. I was one dime, dime, 10 cents short on having enough to pay the next toll uh, down the road or I would have kept going and probably tried to make it a little bit further down. Uh, I was trying to find a dime. I was trying to find a dime. I had $13.40, man. And it's like, because uh, I don't carry a lot of cash on me. I just don't because people are always begging you for money at every truck stop, everywhere you go. You know, um, you know, I just, I don't carry a lot of cash. And um, so I was a dime short having enough to pay the next toll. So I had to stop here at this rest area to hit the ATM and uh, get some cash for in the morning when I head out. I ain't got to be in Florida until uh, Friday morning. So I'll drive down uh, tomorrow, probably get down south of Daytona, somewhere down that way, and then uh, take a early break maybe and uh, try to get into Orlando when there's no traffic. Not Orlando, Longwood. We're going to Longwood. But I figure there's going to be traffic on I-4. So I'll try to hit I-4 when there's no traffic. Anyway, I just wanted to shut it down for today and let y'all know what's going on, man. Another one of those bad days. This has just been a messed up week. Lesson learned. Here's the lesson in this, in this for this. I've learned this week. Don't leave the house without some extra dimes. <laughs> but no, 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 no. Don't take Mondays off, man. Work Monday. If you start your week off on Tuesday, you bound. <laughs> if something's gonna mess it up, right? Damn. I saw my boy, uh, my buddy, uh, CB the trucker, Cody. He um, had him a close call on some ice, man. Be careful, bro. I I stay out of that ice, man. I got up here uh, in Virginia, West Virginia. There's a little bit of ice, not a lot. Mostly a little bit of snow, but there's a lot of. Um, like he was talking about uh, moisture, spew and everything on the road. So you know that it ain't iced over most likely. So, uh, but anyway, be careful, man. And then the old, uh, my other, other friend, uh, Gangsta Gangsta G-Way. Uh, see you, man, chilling out up there in, in uh, Hot Atlanta Road on um, at the convention center there, man. That's chill there, bro. I don't know what you're doing for power up there. They don't let you idle inside there, do they? I don't think you could idle inside there. And in that situation, you would be good to go with an elect with an electric uh, uh, one of those e e uh, e generator things or whatever it's called. But you still only be good for eight hours. You better off uh, hooking yourself up with some shore power if you had shore power. You can find somewhere to run a drop cord. I used to carry a drop cord like 100 feet, at least 100 feet, and I try you know if I had to uh, get close to somewhere I could park and plug in. But, uh, anyway, big ups to you boys. And, uh, 
I know y'all having a little bit better time at it this week than I am. Y'all having a better week than me this week, that's for sure. But that's all right. Uh, we'll get through February. Once we get into March, man, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be good weather. The duck man's going to get a haircut. He's going to be sleek. He's going to have all that hair. I swear, man, you be right that road, there just be like, oof, swatting hair. <laughs> he, he, uh, he's got a lot of hair. Yeah, I'm talking about you, buddy. Yeah. You want to make an appearance? Is that what you want to do? Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. You can do it. Come on. Oh, you're a big boy. Say, I'm a big boy, Daddy. Oh, yeah, I'm a big boy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my co-driver. Say, what's up? Say, big paws up. I like that blue eye, man. Ain't that a beautiful blue eye? This is my patriotic dog. He's He's got a uh, red, white, and blue. Uh... Uh, red and blue eye with a white uh, streak down the middle of his face right there. So he's red, white, and blue patriotic doggy. Ain't you duck duck? So you know it, Dad. Yep, that's me. <laughs> uh, he's already went out there and took care of business. So I went out and took care of business, Dad. So yeah, I did it. It's muddy out there from all the rain. Tried to find a spot, a higher spot up where there wasn't a lot of water standing. So uh, he could take care of things. And uh, anyway, just want to let y'all know what's going on today. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Leave me a comment. Let me know how your day's going, how the weather is, where you're at. And uh, oh, yeah, man, I just, <laughs> another problem. When I picked up this load, it was a dropping hook. Whoever dropped the trailer, they probably dropped it with one of those yard dogs. That thing was so high, I almost went all the way past it with my fifth wheel. And uh, I had to crank that thing down, and it, with 42,000 pounds on it, almost 43, finally got it down onto my fifth wheel, and it took me forever to get it to lock in on my fifth wheel. And uh, finally got out of there. And just as I was getting ready to pull out, I was sitting at the red light, I heard, er, boom! I look over, I saw it as it was happening. Uh, a woman rear-ended another woman, uh... The woman in front had to stop because somebody was pulling out, so she stopped. And the one behind her didn't see it, I guess, and just bam, plowed into the back of her. Didn't, they didn't do a lot of damage, so they'll probably just ride it, exchange insurance, and keep rolling. I don't know for sure, I'm just guessing. But anyway, it's a heavy load. And there's no scales, man. There's no Charleston, Virginia, West Virginia, get you a freaking cat scale, man. I couldn't find a cat scale nowhere. If I'd kept going. Uh, west towards Huntington, I probably I think there's one over there, but man, I'd have to turn around, and come all the way back this way. I think there's one just before you get into Virginia, or somewhere. Somebody said there was one right down the road here uh, before you get into Virginia, because I know as soon as you get into Virginia, there's gonna be scales right there. But they should they should allow you to come to them and say, hey, I couldn't axle out. Will y'all give me a courtesy way? I may be a little off. And, let, and give you a one ch at least one chance. Just one chance is all I need. Because if you tell me to wait, I know enough about those pinholes. I'll get it right the first time. But uh, anyway, I'm watching the uh, air pressure on my airbags. And uh, right now they're around 52 PSI. Which means I probably have about 32... Between 32 and 34 on my drives, thousand pounds. So maybe between 33 and 34. And um, so I'm hoping if I got that much on my drives, the trailer back there should be good because they loaded it almost all the way to the back door. And uh, so I don't know. I, I'm still going to axle out as soon as I can get to a scale. And uh, so hopefully that goes good. So. Uh, Anyway, we're going to let y'all go. Make this a short one today, I hope. Anyway, tomorrow's going to be a better day, right? We're going to get it started around 2.30 in the morning. I think that's about right. 2.30, 3 o'clock, somewhere in there we'll be rolling. Is there any chance Virginia scales will be closed that time of morning? Nah, not with my luck, Bubba. Uh-uh. 
If I was hauling styrofoam cups, they might be closed, but me hauling that heavy uh, pool chemicals, 40 something thousand pounds, you know they're gonna be open. <laughs> you know this boy's luck, right? They're gonna be open. So, gotta be prepared for it and see what happens. But uh, I think I'm pretty close on my weight from looking at the uh, my airbag. So, anyway, y'all take it easy. We'll talk with y'all tomorrow. Let you know how it's going, how far we make it. Maybe we'll get some video from down there in sunny Florida tomorrow. Y'all, y'all take it easy. Love you guys.